We talk about the private connect of Salesforce. It is basically to connect Salesforce uh, to Amazon Web AWS, stand for Amazon Web Services. It's a Amazon Cloud, outbound and inbound. Um, these are the um, blogs, uh, description. This is how you connect. And go slowly, you can have a look later. Also, we do some hands-on work to do that. So, to do that, you go to uh, setup in Salesforce. Let's get our hands dirty. I private. These are the AWS regions currently we have here uh, connected uh, to us. Okay. This is for inbound connection, this is for outbound connection. Let's create an outbound connection. You have to click here, create outbound connection. This is you have to select AWS private link. It's, uh, this is uh, AWS um, feature we connect uh, to Salesforce from uh, from Salesforce to AWS. So, yeah, so my test it asks for the service name, endpoint service name. Right now. Uh, have it uh, you need endpoint service name you get it from Amazon you click it save yeah because you created it we uh, I, I enter the dummy service name uh, for that for endpoint First, you go to um, you need Amazon account to have the connection. Let's create uh, inbound connection is the same as outbound connection. You need the connection name. Uh, and then VPS endpoint ID here. Uh, the invalid one, invalid dummy endpoint ID. This connection has been created. You can see status in unprovisions. Here you have to enter the VPS endpoint ID and service name here, here VPA, virtual private connection endpoint ID. Um, this is how you configure inbound connection and outbound connection of private links of Salesforce.